The Bitcoin bull run is not over. And you're probably wondering, will we see 100K? Will we see 200K for Bitcoin? Who knows? But of all things today, we're talking Bitcoin in the recent crash. Now, Bitcoin has been hurt immensely over the past couple weeks as we've seen them hit a high of 63,000 and a low of nearly 30,000. You really want to make sure that you stick around to the end of the video just because I explain how this Bitcoin bull run is not over with the comparison of mom jeans. You heard me right mom jeans before we start make sure that you obliterate that like button down below it really helps get my content out to a whole new audience and it lets other people see what kind of things we're talking about here and make money did you not hit it yet i'm watching you <laughs> so we all know that bitcoin has crashed and there's a reason behind everything right so we're gonna get into that first reason now now recently bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have fallen in terms of price as the central bank of china just sent out a report for cryptocurrency payments in this report, it was stated that people and businesses were not able to use cryptocurrencies as a payment in China. Now, if you look here, even one of the vice premiers of China, Liu He, pledged to crack down on Bitcoin mining and trading. Now, China stated that virtual currencies don't have any real value and they support speculative trading as well as disrupting the financial and economic order. You better stop! Now, in order to fight crypto, China is coming out with their own digital yuan and they are saying that they're going to stop the production of mining just because it's using so much energy and it's bad for the environment. Now, Elon Musk even came out and made a statement that Tesla is going to remove the Bitcoin as a payment for their cars. Elon stated his concerns for energy and mining and cryptocurrency and being the big influencer he is, he brought down the markets by a couple, couple percent. It did, um And it was kind of gnarly the past couple days, past couple weeks. We gotta go. However, he did tweet that he still believes in the philosophy of Bitcoin as he still holds 38,300 Bitcoin on Tesla's balance sheet. Something that he just wants to see is Bitcoin mining shift towards a more renewable energy way and just not use up as many fossil fuels as it is using. He just cannot come to terms with the environmental impacts of mining cryptocurrency through fossil fuels and using a lot, a lot of energy. However, he did tweet recently that he did speak with the North American Bitcoin miners about renewable energy usage and this seemed potentially promising. Now with the price falling, people are questioning, should I sell my crypto assets? Should I liquidate all my holdings? And should I sell for a loss? The answer is easy. We are long-term investors and we shouldn't panic sell when we see corrections in the market of large swings of 10 to 20%. Just because the price is changing doesn't mean the underlying asset has changed overall. Now we still do believe in the long-term vision of our long-term assets and we will continue to hold or hold on for dear life. Yes. Just think about it, if you bought Amazon or Apple back in the day and they crashed 20 to 30%, then you would miss out on all the gains that they have risen till today. And that's kind of what we're seeing somewhere like today with Bitcoin. You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. But believe me, if you believe in something long term, the last thing that you want to do is panic sell in these rough times. Just trust me and hold on to it for long term. I think it's best to just sit down, zoom out, and see what we've had for the past year. Now, in the past year, Bitcoin has risen about 300%. The all-time gain in return for Bitcoin has been more than 30,000%. But in the past two months, it has been down nearly 50% from its high. Now, Bitcoin has still risen dramatically over the past couple years, past couple months. And just because we're seeing a little correction of about 50% from its high, doesn't mean that the Bitcoin run is over and Bitcoin is done. Now, there's some really interesting data from the bull run of 2017. And just look at these charts. We know that the last Bitcoin halving was on May 11th, 2020. And that's one year and 14 days ago from this day of recording. Now, if we look at the halving before that on July 9th, 2016, and go out one year and 14 days, that would be going to July 23rd, 2017. And you can just look at the charts and they're pretty, pretty similar. Now, we can see that in 2017, there was actually a big dip like this too. And that's kind of what we're experiencing right now. Now, if you look back in 2017, you can see that Bitcoin actually had a correction too of about 20%. Now, they did go a little lower, but after that, they exploded exponentially. Now, if we're on the same time frame as the 2017 Bitcoin bull run, then it looks like we still got plenty, plenty more to go, guys. But in the next couple of weeks, who knows? Maybe Bitcoin can go all the way to 20,000 or 25,000. We really don't know. Yeah, hey, I don't even know. But it looks like we still got more room to run as that 100K to 200K might look realistic. But I do not believe that Bitcoin has topped out and Bitcoin is done for this whole bull cycle. I still think we got more to go, guys. Now, history may not always repeat itself, but it does rhyme. And we will see similarities with this bull run and the last bull run of Bitcoin. You guys don't know how long it took me to get a graph like this and make it interesting for you guys just to draw connections. <laughs> it took a long time, guys. I know, it's kind of embarrassing. 
Boy, if you don't. Now, there's a reason as to why cryptocurrency has become so obsessive to learn, so obsessive to trade, and so obsessive to understand. Now, if you look at Bitcoin bulls, Bitcoin actually becomes part of their identity as they see it as a religion and they are learning it 24 7. People have become obsessed with Bitcoin as there's been terms like HODL, whales, and people have even went to Bitcoin conferences in real life with hundreds of thousands of people. So yeah, I guess it's something to be obsessed about in terms of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Now the idea is that Bitcoin is in this transitioning phase of one day replacing the central banks and becoming decentralized as a currency. This way humans will be able to restructure the banking system and shift a new way of technological advancement. People also believe that Bitcoin will be a store of value and will replace gold in the future. Now people also think that it's going to be a currency, but we know that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin do take a long time for transactions. So it wouldn't really be the most feasible way of transacting through one to another. However, time can change and time will tell as we go along our journey. <laughs> now with cryptocurrency comes volatility and some people just really like the volatility. Give it to me, just give it! Some people are traders and they do like the 20 to 30% upswings as well as the downswings because you can make money both ways, right? There's always new news in the market of new coins coming up and new technologies that are being built out there. Now, Bitcoin is very controversial as there are many bulls and there's many bears for Bitcoin and they're kind of always button heads. Now, bulls are really just fighting for changes in the financial system and a new way of advancements in our technological world. Now, look at this quote. Money is a technology that allows for us to imagine futures. And with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, we will be able to shift and reimagine a whole new future in ways that we could never imagine. Now is the part that you've all been waiting for and it's how does Bitcoin compare to mom jeans? And how is the bull run going to keep going from that? Hear me out. Now we're going to hop on Google Trends just to see how popular these topics were at what times. And now we look at this first graph from mom jeans. We can see that mom jeans were actually really popular in 2009 as they caught traction and then died off for a little bit. After that, they did have a huge comeback and the style has changed as we've been able to see them in PacSun, Levi's, Kohl's, Target, wherever you shop, there's going to be mom jeans. Trust me. But it's not just mom jeans. You would think that moms wear mom jeans, right? No, no, trust me. It's moms, adults, teenagers, teenage girls, and freaking their daughters or whatever. I've seen it all. People wear the mom jeans. My girlfriend wants to buy mom jeans. All the time. All right. It's, it's, it's popping. No drama! Now the new generation Gen Z has changed and now desires clothes dating back to 1980s. But it looks like it's here to stay because it's comfortable, I suppose. <laughs> now look at this second graph of Bitcoin on Google Trends. We can see that this is very, very similar to mom jeans as they were in favor in 2017 and then shortly lost interest after that. See, if you look at the more recent times, we can see that Bitcoin has actually been increasing in terms of popularity and searches throughout Google. Now just like mom jeans, if people begin to accept it, people are okay with it and more people are familiar with it as more people think that it's trendy, then we're going to see a large increase of interest in this category. Now here's the takeaway of me showing you guys these graphs. As more people are beginning to learn about cryptocurrency and it's become more traditional to our everyday lives, people are going to understand it more and people are going to use it as well. Now there is very little doubt in my mind that cryptocurrency's interest will fade over time and die as a cryptocurrency and just be banished forever. I really don't think that interest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is going to come to an end as more people just learn about it. Now eventually I do expect the graph for Bitcoin searches and Bitcoin popularity to look exactly like mom jeans. We're going to go through this phase of a lot of people just learning about cryptocurrency and a lot of people just being really interested in investing and trading. That being said, I'm wrapping up this video and I really want to hear from you. Now put a fire emoji if you think that Bitcoin's going to crash to the floor and put a rocket ship emoji if you think Bitcoin's going to the moon. Let me know, spam it in the comment section right now. Anyways, it's great to hear from y'all and I hope you have a really great day and peace out.